Would you take a supplement that can build your muscles and your brain and is completely safe? That supplement exists. It's affordable, I take it, and you should too. That supplement is creatine. How does creatine benefit your body and your brain? And how much should you take? That is what we're talking about in this video. Creatine is the most recommended fitness supplement. You can take it to improve your workout performance, improve your physique, or to boost your cognition. The first question we should always ask before we take a supplement is, is it safe? Why do we fear supplements in general? Well, for one, they're not FDA approved, meaning a supplement could be sold before anyone has ever checked it to see if it actually has what it says it has. Another concern is that it's not natural. There could be other chemicals thrown in there that could cause health side effects. Speaking of which, side effects are another major concern. There are supplements that could damage our liver or kidneys, stress our heart, cause us to lose sleep. There are a lot of concerns that can come from various ingredients in certain supplements. Part of what makes creatine such a great supplement is that it checks all the safety boxes. It's FDA approved. It's a natural substance. In our body, we have several organs, including our pancreas and our kidneys, that make creatine. Creatine naturally exists in foods. We find it especially in red meat, but you can also see creatine in poultry, seafood, dairy, and eggs. Creatine is used in our body to create energy. There's something called the ATPPC energy system. And in that system, we take creatine to create a compound called creatine phosphate. Ultimately, that compound is used to create ATP. And ATP, as you might recall from high school biology class, is the energy used for muscle contraction throughout our body. Creatine specifically is used to create energy for very intense activities and exercises, such as lifting heavy weights and sprints. Translation, we need creatine. But are there side effects? There are no side effects within the recommended dosages for creatine. An analysis with over 13,000 people compared taking a placebo to creatine and they found that taking creatine had no increase in any kind of side effect. It is a well-researched supplement. Research on creatine largely picked up in the 1990s and now we have over 30 years of creatine research. In fact, if you just go to Google Scholar and type in creatine supplementation, you'll find over 230,000 results. At this point, we know a lot about creatine. It's most known for being a supplement that people take when working out. That's for two big reasons. Creatine supplementation combined with strength training increases both strength and muscle mass. On average, a person can gain about an extra three pounds of muscle mass when combining strength training with creatine. A lesser known benefit is that creatine boosts our cognitive function. Our brain uses a ton of energy. Approximately 20% of the energy in our entire body is being used by our brain. I previously mentioned that creatine is used to create ATP, the main source of energy in our body. Creatine is also used to produce more neurotransmitters, which are chemical messengers that help deliver messages between various parts of our nervous system. If you supplement with creatine, it can help you in a few ways. It can enhance short-term memory. It can boost your processing speed, which is when you receive info, make sense of it, and then react. It can also reduce depression and improve your mood. Creatine can help some aspects of brain function, but it's not proven to work for everyone. If you're young, healthy, with a healthy lifestyle, creatine will help your muscles, but it's likely not gonna do much for your brain function. Studies show that creatine can help cognitive function for people who have cognitive difficulties, such as sleep-deprived people, people who have a great deal of cognitive difficulties, such as worry, negative thinking, uh, or overthinking. People who are 60 years and older who might have started the decline in cognitive ability that comes with age. 
Another population that can help are vegetarians. Vegetarians can benefit from creatine because they're not consuming uh, many of the foods that have creatine naturally in it. If you don't fit into any of the previously named populations, you may not benefit from creatine for your brain. If you're interested in taking creatine, here's what I recommend. Buy creatine monohydrate. It is the most common, it is the most researched, and other types of creatine, which can be much more expensive, don't show any additional benefit. A creatine supplement should not have any other ingredients. Just getting creatine monohydrate by itself is effective. Buy a powder, not a gummy or a pill. As delicious as gummies can be, the serving size in a gummy or a pill is way less. You might have to take around 10 or 20 pills or gummies to meet the desired serving for creatine on a daily basis. Buy a supplement that's tested by a third party. If it's not tested by a third party, the suggested amount of creatine that's in the actual serving may be very inaccurate. If you're looking to gain strength or muscle, you should take about five to seven grams per day. But if you're looking to boost your brain health, take as much as 10 grams per day. To learn more about supplements and how to find a valid tested supplement, watch my video, Supplements Won't Change Your Life. For more information on habits that can boost your physique as well as your brain, subscribe below. I'm Dr. Sean Proust. Thanks for watching this video.